You stick to that, Mark. You stick to exactly. that. Exactly. Good on you, David. Thank you for the call. Thank you for all your calls and your texts today. Uh, we've enjoyed it. We will be back there tomorrow from midday. Lloyd Burt will drive you home. All of me, the shrimps, and the team is with you. Have a good day, guys. On 90.2 Auckland, this is Today FM News. I'm Wilhelmina Shrimpton at four. Several homes are being waterproofed after two tornadoes ripped through Kapiti. The first tore off roofs in Waikanae and the second damaged properties in Otahanga. Mayor Kay Gurinathan says people are already asking how they can help. The community always responds really well. Some of the builders, people in the construction business are ready to come and help us. And so we'll see what happens, whether we need it or not. ACT is accusing the government of missing the mark as it responds to a scathing report into Tharmac. A recommendation for a refreshed medicine strategy has not been accepted. Health spokesperson Brooke Van Belden says it should have been, and Pharmac's budget should also be reviewed. Instead, we're spending millions of dollars on restructuring the healthcare sector, uh, and we're not talking enough about medicines access and getting better modern medicines to more New Zealanders. The broadcasting minister appears to be distancing himself from the Kamal Santa Maria saga at TVNZ. The CEO of the state broadcaster, Simon Power, yesterday confirmed an independent review into recruitment processes. Chris Farfoy says it's an issue for TVNZ to handle. We'll leave them to it. I think um, they've obviously set themselves up on a, uh, on a process to look into this further. I last spoke to Mr Power uh, around midday on Saturday. A 58-year-old woman in Eastern Bay of Plenty has been charged after blowing three times the legal alcohol limit while going to pick up her grandchildren. Police responded to reports yesterday of a vehicle swerving across College Road in Edgecombe. Staff located the car and driver outside a primary school. The passenger was also under the influence of alcohol. Authorities in Brazil say 100 people have died following last week's torrential rain in the country's northeast. Landslides and torrents of mud triggered by the downpours have then demolished poor neighbourhoods and shanty towns in the region. To sport now, there's more money than ever before on the line in this week's Women's US Golf Open. There's over $15 million up for grabs, including $2.8 million for the winner. But the huge amount of cash makes no difference for New Zealand's Lydia Ko, who's chasing a third career major title. I don't think anyone's going to have a putt on the 72nd hole to possibly win and go, oh my goodness, if I miss this putt, it's like something, something thousand dollars. And former All Black Kevin Mialamu has a desire to become the New Zealand heavyweight boxing champion. But first, the 43-year-old's going to see how he fares against ex-Warriors star Wairangi Kupu at next month's Fight for Life charity boxing event. It'll be awesome to be able to, to go further in this, uh, in this awesome sport, but uh, I know I've got to take care of first. I'm Wilhelmina Shrimpton from the Today FM News Network, news that moves us forward. With AF drinks, zero booze, zero sugar, passion fruit spritz, it's Zesty AF. Today FM traffic. Talk KiwiSaver with Fisher Funds. Partly cloudy tonight in front of 13 and we've got no services running at the moment on the eastern train line after a freight train derailed earlier. We'll let you know when they are up and running again. If you're coming out of town on the southern motorway, it's pretty busy from Newmarket to Mount Wellington and at Highbrook Drive. The northern is slowing Tristram to Upper Harbour. And there's traffic on the northwest and between Great North Road and uh, Te Atatu. Fisher Funds, New Zealand's most trusted KiwiSaver provider. Talk to their KiwiSaver specialists today. Weather. With Ecotricity, New Zealand's only 100% carbon zero renewable electricity. Cloudy at times with some showers in northwesterly, dropping to a low of 13 degrees overnight. And tomorrow there's periods of rain, heavy at times with possible thunderstorms and a high of 18 degrees. Lloyd Burr, live. The only news you need on the drive home. Minister, um, that is Andrew, Andrew the health minister. Lloyd Burr, live. Today, FM. And I'd love your feedback on this. Do you think Pharmac is broken? I think it is. Do you think the government will be able to change it? I think they will, but it's going to take them uh, a long time. Have you got a family member, maybe a friend, who struggled to get access to medication that they need? 
Maybe you've struggled to get access to medication that you need. Give me a text, 3920, or you can send us an email, lloyd at todayfm.co.nz. My name is weird, it's Welsh, L-L-O-Y-D, lloyd at todayfm.co.nz if you prefer to send an email. We're going to give away a double pass to see Top Gun Maverick um, for our favourite piece of feedback tonight. So the best bit of feedback we get, it could be a joke, could be a really insightful piece of feedback. That's who's getting our Top Gun Maverick uh, tickets. Today's big stories in under two minutes. As I see it. As I see it, I was actually really impressed with Andrew Little in that interview. He was pretty reasonable. He was pretty honest about how broken Pharmac is. He certainly was realistic about how much work there is to fix it. He needs to help the most vulnerable New Zealanders as well. Sorry, it needs to help the most vulnerable New Zealanders as well as bulk buying drugs for the majority. It can do both. Pharmac can do both. Because at the moment, as the minister admitted, Pharmac's um, need to get a cheap price has overridden absolutely everything. As I said, why does Auckland Council need a separate climate action plan? The central government from Wellington has just unveiled the emissions reduction plan for the whole country, so why does local government need to spend a whole lot of taxpayers' money, ratepayers' money, writing up its own version? Now, I'm all for action on climate change, don't get me wrong. I really just hope this isn't wasting ratepayers' money. We'll have more on this with the Mayor of Auckland, Phil Goff, at quarter to five. As I see it, I take back what I said yesterday about not caring about Ardern and Biden's meeting. Seeing the images and footage of their meeting has made me realise that it is pretty vital in the world we live in at the moment. Russia's war on Ukraine, China expanding into the Pacific. So having friends like the US and having FaceTime with the US president is pretty vital. As I see it, I've gone electric for a week. Anyway, Lexus has lent me their fully electric UX300e and I can't wait to put it to its paces over the long weekend. Like their lives today, FM. And we've got eight large hell pizzas to give away. All you've got to do is beat one of our resident experts in this one question quiz. Today's topic for this is the British royal family because it's the Jubilee, 70 years coming up um, on Friday. Wilhelmina is here in the studio as well. She's bringing us all the latest uh, news and banter. We love your feedback. Uh, so send me a text, 3920 is the number to send the text to, or lloyd at todayfm.co.nz. The best bit of feedback is a double pass to go and see Top Gun Maverick. Coming up, I used to hate it when the teacher would gride, not just the teacher, but anyone who would gride. The griding would grind my gears. What is gride? That's word of the day. Next. The new news in town. It's over. Tomorrow morning from 6.30 with Generate, the Kiwi Saver Specialist. People you can actually talk to on Today FM. He's on it. She's definitely on it. I just can't believe I'm not on it. The NBR list, New Zealand's wealth creators, 2022 edition out now and free for subscribers at nbr.co.nz. See the massive 20 to 50% off store wide at Spotlight. Yes, 20 to 50% off with savings on Manchester home decor, fabric, scarf, yarn, sewing machines, curtains, and blinds store wide. To create it, decorate it, and celebrate it for less. Sale on now. Exclusions are fine. At Spotlight, it's what you make it. I want Struggling to pick out the right corporate gift for a specific person or occasion? Interflora will help you select and send something perfect for everyone on your list. Real estate, hospitality, aged care, retail. Their florist has a bouquet to suit every need. I want Interflora, nothing else will do. Interflora. Delivery nationwide. From me to you. Interflora.co.nz Investing, upgrading, perhaps downsizing your home? Then you know there's a lot of people to talk to. Lawyers, bankers, mortgage brokers, building inspectors. But it doesn't have to be that difficult. Introducing Propped Up, a new way to do property. All the property professionals you need, all in the same space. Propped Up delivers everything you need without the stress. You could say they do property properly. Find out more at ProppedUp.nz. That's P-R-O-P-D-U-P dot N-Z. At Commonwealth Vault, they value things that stand the test of time, like gold, silver, and other precious investments, and the buildings that safeguard them. That's why Commonwealth Vault sells bullion and stores bullion at the historic Custom House building in Auckland, completed in 1890, and the historic Public Trust building on Oxford Terrace in Christchurch, standing tall since 1925. CommonwealthVault.co.nz, New Zealand's premier vault provider. 
Your kitchen, your sanctuary, your Mila outlet. Visit the fabulous store full of quality Mila products. Appliances you love at prices that amaze. Make your friends jealous. Make the Mila upgrade. Huge savings off run out products with stock arriving weekly. Your Mila outlet store, 880 Great South Road, Penrose. Steelport.co.nz. Your kitchen, your choice, your Mila for less. Engaging, entertaining, and on the ball. Lloyd Burr, live with Lexus. Experience amazing. On 90.2, Today FM. Experience amazing. Keep that feedback coming in. 3920 is the number. There's plenty of it, and I like what I see. Um, all right, it is 22 minutes up to four. Time for headlines with Wills. A reminder from police not to drink and drive after a woman blew three times the legal limit in Eastern Bay of Plenty. The 58-year-old was caught swerving across College Road in Edgecombe while going to pick up her grandchildren. Homes are being waterproofed and branches are being lifted off power lines following two tornadoes in Kapiti. The first tore through Waikanae at around 11 this morning and the second struck at midday. Mayor Kay Gurinathan says the community has already stepped up to help out. And it's hoped a growing picture of alleged abuse in the Catholic Church will encourage reflection on how it happened and why. The latest findings from ongoing research list the Catholic entities with the most complaints since 1950. St John of God Brothers was the highest with 269. More news as soon as it happens on Today FM. Thank you very much for that, Wills. Do appreciate it. It's now time for Word of the Day, where I grab a word uh, from the Superior Person's Book of Words and I add it to our vocabulary. Today's Word of the Day is Gride. 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 Is it a great bride? Huh? No. No, okay. No, <laughs> I just throw it out there just in case. Here it is in a sentence. Wilhelmina used to hate how Mrs. Featherston used to grind when she was teaching. Great. No. No? Okay, there's another one. Lloyd went to the concert but couldn't stand the grinding from the orchestral arrangement. Okay, let's, like, oh, here's another. Yeah, oh, this is me grinding. Pretend this is a oh, blackboard. Oh, the nails on the blackboard. That is a grind. Screeching. Yep. Screeching? That is it. Screeching. That is it. Nice yep. Scrape. To scratch, scrape, or cut with a sound that grates upon the Ooh, ears. It's like a knife and fork on a plate, isn't it? There you go. You can use that as your word of the day. Grind. Oh, I hate it when Don't you grind at me. There you go. Um, all right, it's time to meet a great Kiwi. Time to go local. Celebrate.